five lessons learned from my first month on UEFN. Number one, moving maps from 1.0. There's a few things you need to be aware of here. Firstly, before launching UEFN, I recommend you load up Creative 1.0, walk to that console and copy any maps you plan to try and convert. Once you've converted a map to UEFN, you can still access it from the Creative Portal, but editing it is restricted to the Unreal Engine editor. Making a copy means you can keep the original 1.0 as a backup and then convert the copied version into UEFN to make edits on and get creative with. Number two, tutorials exist, use them. If you're anything like me, when you get a new toy, you want to rip it open and play with it but some toys are more complicated than others. I highly recommend you take the time to build the right foundations of knowledge before tearing into a new map. When you load up UEFN, this news pop-up has some useful links for you to do just that. Your first hour in UEFN is where I started and recommend you do too. These introductory videos to the basics from Epic are short and simple to understand. If you've got two monitors, then I'd recommend doing what I did and editing on a blank map along with each tutorial video. UEFN documentation has a mix of written and visual guides from Epic. Navigate to the Get Started tab and whip through any lessons you've not done yet. You'll also find the release notes. And finally, the developer community is where you can start picking up the more niche tips and wisdom of other amazing creators. On here, you'll find showcase screenshots and clips to help inspire you and show you what's possible. Then on the more direct help side of things, there are creator made tutorials and forums for Q and A's to help each other out. I'm personally trying to be a bit more active in these kind of forums and I think you guys should be too. Number three, levels, avoid them for now. The ability to have multiple levels in one map is not yet part of UEFN. So I strongly recommend for now that you stick to one level per project until Epic announces any changes to that. Number four, verse can be tricky, but don't worry about it. Simply put, verse is a visual coding language that can be used to create devices that don't exist in the Fortnite creative files. I have no coding background, and when I went through the verse tutorial pages on the UEFN documentation on their website, I didn't really understand a lot of it. In reality though, you probably won't need it much when starting out, especially if you're planning game modes you've already made or seen in creative. Finally, number five, how to make money in Fortnite Creator 2.0. Island Creator status in Economy 2.0 is not the same as Supporter Creator. The Supporter Creator program is still an affiliate marketing tool and retains similar features and eligibility as before, in a nutshell, anyone with 1,000 plus followers or subscribers on a key social media platform can apply. And if approved, they then get a portion of profits from any item shop where their code is used. One key change though, is that Island creators no longer have the support to create a button device uh, to place in their maps. The new Island creator status and enrollment on the new Economy 2.0 program is quite different and still in its infancy. Monetary rewards are directly related to the levels of engagement with your published maps. As Epic state on their website, Epic places 40% of the net revenue from Fortnite's item shop and related real money purchases into the engagement pool. Engagement payout will be made monthly from this pool to the publishers of all eligible islands, including independent creators islands and Epic's own islands like Battle Royale. The payouts are based on player engagement with each island as described below. So Epic's definition of engagement currently is determined by two key factors, player popularity and player retention. Popularity refers to attracting new players or re-engaging players who have been offline for some time. Retention is as it sounds, having maps that players keep returning to play. To be eligible as an individual for the Island Creator Program, you need to be at least 18 years old, have had a Fortnite account active for more than 90 days and have logged into UEFN on at least 21 different days. Once I'd hit the 21 days of editing, I was able to apply and got approved on the same day. As mentioned, Economy 2.0 is still in its infancy, so only time will tell how profitable it will be for some creators. 
and I'm sure we can expect tweaks to the rules and payout system over time. I hope you guys found these lessons useful. If you did, all I ask is that you subscribe. I do work full time, so this is a spare time hobby for me, but I plan on making more maps and more videos for you guys in the near future. Thank you.